Hello and welcome to another scorcher of a day here in beautiful Nova Scotia and welcome to my channel The Optimistic Gardener. My name is Steve Farley. Well, as you can see, things are going really strongly here in the Optimistic Veg Garden. But we can't rest on our laurels. I've just harvested some onions and soon I'll be clearing that bed of all the onions. Down here, the garlic is just about to be harvested and the peas won't go on forever. So we've got to be thinking about moving on for the next phase of the summer and into the autumn. And as a garden coach, I'm, I'm really actually quite a lot being asked at the moment, Steve, is it too late to actually plant a garden this year? Well, I say no, it's not too late. There is lots and lots still to plant. Let's have a look. Now, you're not going to be able to grow great big tomatoes, juicy tomatoes, whether they be cherry tomatoes or big tomatoes at this time of year. You just haven't got the time. Or, like behind me, this sweet corn. Again, you just haven't got the time. Or you have got the time, but you haven't got the time for hot plants, which is what sweet corn and tomatoes are. But we can look at warm plants and cool plants. So, we want to go for something that's maybe quick turnaround, like your salad, your lettuces, but my particular favourite at the moment this is Butter Crunch which has performed absolutely superb for me this year so far and um, this Asian Green Scarlet Frills was absolutely delicious. And the mix of the, the sort of buttery smooth taste of this and a bit more spicy of the, um, the Scarlet Frills, that was excellent. So I'm going to plant some of that because that's quite quick to turn around and then even in autumn I'm going to continue to plant this all sow this all the way through till probably September and then in my greenhouse actually I'm gonna probably plant it in October we'll see but this is a quick turnaround run so we want to go for this so if we want to start a new bed we can definitely do some lettuce um, radish so radish is a um, really quick growing plant so we can direct sow this that's a good one I don't actually particularly like radish but I'm gonna grow it um, just to show you that in August it's not too late to be planting your different vegetables. So we're going to try some radish. Um, spinach, probably towards the middle of August I'm going to um, plant some spinach. Doesn't like it too hot. Um, so getting it in, in um, August and September again. I'm going to be planting this and this well actually I had some lettuce funnily enough um, well funnily enough if you're a gardener that I overwintered didn't put any um, covers over it or anything looked looked like it was dead as a doornail all the way through the winter as soon as spring come started to grow and there I that was like one of the first greens that I had early in the spring so planting this all the way out into October will be a good one so spinach and what else have we got so as well as quick turnaround plants we can do um, other plants that can actually handle a little bit of cold that that take a little bit longer to grow so I'm going to sow some carrots and I've got this Chantenay but I've also got this one little finger so I'm thinking one of your smaller carrots again that would be like quicker to grow so that's another good plant and you know you could be picking last year I was picking carrots on Christmas Day for my Christmas dinner so that was excellent you know and if you've got a little bit of a cover over it you have definitely got that protection and you'll be picking these plants for your Christmas dinner so carrots they're definitely going in last week I actually planted up some kale and spinach uh, kale and what was it? What was the other one? Broccoli. And look at that, five days and they have germinated already. So because the soil is nice and warm at the moment, things are germinating quickly. And again, kale and broccoli don't mind the cooler temperatures. And if you provide them that little bit more protection, they'll be lasting all the way till Christmas again. So we can, as well as, you know, I prefer to um, sow my kale and broccoli and things like that in 
in the old boxes first before direct, but you can direct sow them straight in there. So broccoli is another good one. What have I got here? So I had this broccoli Waltham 29. Funny old name that, isn't it? And Black Magic, this kale has always performed well for me. So I'm sowing these. What else have we got? Oh, one last thing I'll be doing is I will be sowing some cabbage. I've got this cabbage uh, red hawk. So this, I can plant this now and this again will be ready for a late harvest, maybe in for Christmas, but you know, I can get it late in the, uh, in the winter time. So that's another good one. So there we go. I, as I said at the start there, I don't think it's too late to be planting or starting a garden in August. We're gonna get some lettuce, some carrots, some broccoli, kale, chard, you can put some chard in, spinach definitely, and, and rocket, arugula, whatever you wanna call it, that is another good one. Also, oh, I tell you what, some, I'm just looking at this lovely bee on the, on the herbs there, and I think some herbs, so you can put any sort of herbs. Basil continually, um, continue to sow basil at this time of year. So lots of your parsley, your basil, lots of things will, will germinate very quickly at this time of year. And again, that, that they'll grow quickly and you'll be able to get something out of that. So there we go, lots of things to plant in August. And I've got a bed here that I'm about to plant them all up. And we can have a look at that over the next few months to see how my, my August planting bed gets on. Jobs are good.